right, welcome back everybody. I know I just made a post on uh, the channel about how, you know, my life is in shambles, and it absolutely is, but this is a very good distraction right now, so I'm going to keep doing this, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm just going to pop this bad boy helmet on. I'll definitely re-top up that oxygen. Side. We just escaped the monster in the greenhouse, so we're just booking it out of here now. And we gotta try to find our other crew members. If I can get the Declan at the satellite station, we can try to reestablish communications. I've got to warn them. Mars is messed up. I'm waiting for something to pop in there as soon as the door is starting to close, you know what I mean? Dang. You alright there, buddy? Your hands are all shaky. Can't find the hole. Let's just drive the Mako. We gotta go find Declan. It's the mirror cat. All right, we need to find Declan here. Big old satellite setup. What's with the stacked up rocks? Declan been out here playing around. Man, my oxygen dropped a lot. I mean, I guess not a lot, but for being inside of a, a vehicle, I guess I probably should have took my helmet off. Oh, and you know what? I bet his shaky hands was because we were running away from the monster. He was still all geeked out about it. Oh. Well. Declan, there's something wrong. Um, well, buddy, we're just going to go ahead and dive in. Whoa. Apparently oxygen does not count anymore. The Cave of Madness. Oh, we're gonna get some lore. Oh my god. Why is it glowing? Okay. The orb is reacting to my hand. Let me touch it. did that. Whew. I really like the, uh, it's like the sci-fi. It's like technology mixed with Cthulhu lore. Oh, doesn't like that. When I turn to look at it, it retreats. Oh, really? Get out of here. Shitty thing. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. I see you trying to creep in on me. Stay right there.
Wow, it didn't even make it back up here yet. Get out of here. Filthy animal. Oh, I guess we're going down. Point of no return. Let's go ahead and charge this bad boy. Fully powered. Ooh, you back up. I thought I heard some goopiness. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Back up. Get out of here. And you stay back. Is it safe over here? This looks like some layers of fear shit. What's this? Take the orb? What All the right. hell is this place? Hold on a minute. There's lore. Oh. So somebody figured out how to use whatever that anima, which is, I'm assuming, the crazy... Ah. The, uh... The weird tentacle doodad things. I am still on this planet. I take the vermaculated orb and charge it using the machine I fabricated from the Martian schematics. Supercharging the anima burns out the infecting filth. It works, but only for the moment. The flare of the supercharged anima burns itself out momentarily, allowing the zero-point pathogen to take root again. What if I soaked it in the pools? Huh. Well, Alright, so somebody's... Some kind of experiment. Yeah, somebody's in here doing work. What? They never turn away? Today I vomited in disgust at my failure, and what I vomited up tried to crawl away. And it looked like a mini Cthulhu beast. The orbs are corrupted from their original purpose by... sibilant frequencies of the filth. So I commanded the black worm jism to leave the orbs, but the filth is stubborn and it will not give up the corpse of its enemy. So somebody's actually learning some shit about all these guys. Thank you. This one's working differently. The scar is not charging. Me <gasps> oh, hi. Maybe I need more energy. I didn't know you could reach all the way in here. Good thing you stopped where you did. Back it up, homie. No. Back. This bad boy, right, Hall. Wait, right, 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 Hall. No. Back, filthy beast. Slink back in your hole. The orb is blowing. I think we've figured out what we're doing by now, buddy. Full. Back. Shiny. Now if we go put this back, I'm hoping it'll open up that area. As they were talking about how it uses the... The power to clear the filth. So, let's clear this filth. It worked. It's clearing the way. Wow. That's one way to do it. I'm really
really digging this cave. It's like a living cave. That's what it feels like. Oh, what do you know about that? No, what are you doing? It keeps trying to drag my camera to the left. Stop it. Alright, nothing over there I need. I'll go down there here in a sec. I want to check out this first. There's an empty, huh? Looks like I'll probably clear that out. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, I don't have a flashlight either. I mean, I guess not that that's a big deal, but... Excuse you. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. This Who am I? Insane. Do I exist? No one exists. We're just thoughts. More thoughts arrived. They look like space people. Space suits. They might wake up the dreamers. I think I will torture them. My mother frightened me with stories of witches and hags. Jenny Green Teeth? Pulling children into the pond. To eat. But my mother never existed. I can be Jenny Green Teeth. Jenny... Fifth Teeth? I'll give the space people such nightmares. I wonder if the glow of this pretty, pretty orb will attract them. I could be the glass tooth grin below the light stalk of an angler fish. Yeah, um, about that. I think I'm good. I don't, I don't really need any more of these orbs. Just saying. <laughs> Y'all can have them if it's that serious. I'm just trying to leave. Whoa, it's upside down. That's wonky. Okay, so I need to go put this in the pedestal. Yeah, right there. Or no, do I need to charge it first? Hold on, let me see. He looks like a normal one. Yeah. Hey, I was already looking, okay? You ain't gotta do all that. Okay, left and right. Right is closed. Yeah, for the most part. Man. What an extensive cave system. gonna go this way. Nope, no, come on. You gotta fit through there. We can make it. I think my guy's name is Shane. I think it's Shane Newhart. Boom. Oh my god. What a douche. Alright. Checkpoint reached. Ok, 
God, I don't see anything though. That's the way I came in, right? Yeah. So I'm, I need to find an orb from somewhere. I can't scan. Is there? Nope. There's not one in there. Oh, it's right there on the table. I need to charge this first. Right? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Correct, Amundo? Yes. Say that's kind of far away. I don't know if I can reach it. Nope, I'm not going to that door. That's a dead end door, looking like a jump scare. More stuff over there. Reconnections. Okay. Oh, well, oh, there's one. He's just peeking in. Um. No. No. Ah. Uh, look at him hiding. The other one should be this side, right? Or straight through. I think that would make sense, right? Yep. Alright, let's go. Oh, not that one. This one. Go, 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 go. We got this. Oh, God. Really went for it with that one. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh shit. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh god. Oh no, that's not that's the horriblest thing. Stay back. It's okay, we got this. We're gonna get out of here. It'd be I. So everybody else is actually dead? Whoa. 
So technically, she's trying to uh, keep the Elder Gods from waking up and destroying everything. So she's tech guy. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm gonna pause this one here, though. We're gonna end this episode here. We got all that taken care of. We got the Cave of Madness done. Now it's time to explore a little bit of the lore and backstory of uh, our guy Shane here, it looks like. Maybe we'll find out what happened to his mom. It's in the very first episode, you, you hear him talking about how she goes missing one day and just never heard from again. So... Hopefully you guys are as uh, invested as I am, because I'm going to go ahead and record the next one right after this. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on my <laughs> um, my therapeutic <laughs> sessions here. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.